7.3 special triangles part two. These are the 45, 45, 90 triangles. So this is an old Saturday Night Live character called the church lady. And she had a, <clears throat> a very famous saying. She'd always say, well, and that's special. And uh, so I thought of this. We'll see her in just a few minutes. Let's take a look at this. We have um, these triangles. We want to try and solve them. All right, we want to find the other sides. A couple of things I want to address right here. First of all, 45, 45, 90, that means this is an isosceles triangle, so these are the same. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we have 25 plus, that's 50 equals Y squared. Take the square root of 50. Remember, we're only taking the positive because we have a distance. So that's 25 times 2. And the square root of 25 is 5 radical 2. So this here is 5 radical 2. All right, so if this is 2, then this has to be 2 because this is an isosceles triangle. All right, boom. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Oh, that's odd. Anyway, so 4 plus 4 equals b squared. 8 equals b squared. Take the square root of that. And we have that is the square root of 4 times the square root of 2. And that would be 2 radical 2. So, take a look here and what do you think the relationship is? Well, these two legs are always the same. That's an easy one. 5 and 5, 2 and 2. And the hypotenuse is always just whatever that side is, radical 2. So, if we take a look at that. Every 45, 45, 90 has sides with the following relationship. 1, 1 across from the 45s, radical 2 across from the 90. Well, isn't that special? Sorry, took me a minute to recover from so much information. So that is the church lady. That's from when I was growing up as a kid. Oh, I know, so long ago. All right, so we can use this. If we have one length, we can find all the other lengths. Of course, we know this one is six because the lengths are the same. We can use similar uh, triangles. I mean, yeah, you could use the uh, Pythagorean theorem now, couldn't you? But we can also use a uh, special right triangle. So we're going to set it up. I'm going to draw my reference triangle, one, one, radical two. So 6 is the same as 1, as x is the same as radical 2. 6 over 1 is 6. Multiply the radical 2 when we get 6 radical 2. All right. Let's try this one. So I'm going to draw my reference triangle. So this is going to be 1, 1, radical 2 here. Um, so this is the exact same problem, isn't it? Well, let's change this up. Let's call this x. Let's call this uh, 6 here. So now, 6 over radical 2 is the same as x over 1. Well, x over 1 is just x. Over here, if you remember, we can't have radicals in the denominator. We have to rationalize, so I multiply by radical 2 on top and bottom. 6 radical 2 on the top. Radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4. The square root of 4 is 2. So this is just 3 radical 2. There we have it. If this is 3 radical 2, then this is 3 radical 2. Easy peasy. All right, over here on example number 5, let's do this one. We have uh, our reference triangle here, 1, 1, radical 2. So x over 1 is the same as 8 radical 2 over radical 2. Remember, anything divided by itself is 1, so these radical 2's actually equal 1, and what's left? 8. So x is 8, which means y is 8. So can we use our shortcut here? Yeah, the, the shortcut still works. It says always start with the short side or get to that side first. It's the same exact thing. If you're mul you multiply when you go to a bigger side, you divide when you go back to the side. So over here, when I'm going from 1 to radical 2, I'm going to be multiplying that by radical 2. Same thing when I come backwards, when I come from radical 2 to 1, I'm going to be dividing that by radical 2. 
All right, uh, the 45, 45, 90, they're kind of easy because there's not that much to it. It's when you have to mix them together that's going to be tricky, and they will both be on the homework. They'll both be on the mastery check. So let's try this one. I have the long side because it's across from 90, so I'm going to go to the short side, so I have to divide by radical 2. So 10 divided by radical 2. I'll have to rationalize that. So that's 10 radical 2 over radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5, so that is 5 radical 2. So x and y are both 5 radical 2. Let's try this one. I am on the short side because I'm on the 45 side. So first of all, we know y is 4 radical 5. So um, to go to the big side, I have to multiply by radical 2. So 4 radical 5 times radical 2 is 4 radical 10. Remember, when you're multiplying radicals, what's inside gets multiplied and what's outside gets multiplied. All right, uh, this one here, 6 over radical 2, because I'm going from the big side, I'm going to a small side, so that means I have to divide by radical 2. So I'm going to rationalize that. So that's 6 radical 2 over 2, which is 3 radical 2. So 3 radical 2 is both x and y in that situation. Shortcut's great on these because it makes them really quick, all right? Part of the reason they're faster this time is because you've done the 30, 60, 90 already, and you kind of have a grasp of how to do it. All right, so let's take it up a notch here. Remember this one, we have two things. We have this is what we want to find, but we don't have anything in that triangle. When we have these overlapped ones, we want to find the common side first. So I want to go from a short side across from 45 to a long side. What do I have to do? I have to multiply by radical 2. So 7 times radical 2. So this side is 7 radical 2. And over here, this is also a short side. And I'm going to a long side. So I have to multiply that by radical 2. So 7 radical 2 times radical 2 is 7 radical 4, which is the same thing. The square root of 4 is 2, so this is 14. All right, remember, whenever you have these compound ones, you just have to find the common side and then find the side you're looking for in that triangle, okay? So why don't you pause the video and try these on your own. So the first thing I noticed is that these two sides are the same, 2 radical 2 and 2 radical 2. I did this one by uh, the reference triangle, similar triangles. So I set up 2 radical 2 is the same as 1, and x is the same as radical 2. All right, then I cross multiplied here. 2 radical 2 times radical 2 is 2 radical 4. Square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So I had sides of 2 radical 2, 2 radical 2, and 4. All right, let's go over here. Again, I want to find the common side, all right? This is a 30, 60, 90. Across from 30 is 1, and I want to go to the big side, so I want to go from the smallest to the biggest. That means I need to multiply this by 2. So 2 times a radical 3 is 16 radical 3. Now I'm on the big side of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And I want to go to a small side, so I have to divide by radical 2. I'm going to divide by radical 2, so I need to do 16 radical 3 divided by radical 2. And that's going to be our x. Can I have a radical in the denominator? No. So I have to multiply by radical 2. Can I have a, a radical in the numerator? Absolutely. That's where we want them. All right? So remember, when you have radicals inside times inside... They stay inside, unless it's a perfect square. And then, like this, radical 2 times radical 2 is radical 4, which is 2. So, 16 divided by 2 is 8, radical 6. And again, I don't divide that radical 6 by 2, because that's inside the radical. That 2 is outside, so I cannot divide those. Alright? So, I'm going to leave you with a, uh, another clip of the church lady when she's meeting a fake Saddam Hussein. If you don't know who Saddam Hussein was, he was the leader of Iraq in the, um, you know, hopefully you know that name, but he's a very, very bad man. Um, so watch us, and I will see you on the flip side.